Hey, hello everyone and welcome to another Minecraft Redstone tutorial. In this video I made the latest snapshot, the 15W38B snapshot. And I'm standing next to test 137E29's item elevator design, which is unfortunately is broken in this snapshot. Just to demonstrate it. It's not working anymore. So if you don't know what this design is, a dropper or some kind of system puts the items in the water stream which is running on a packed ice or some kind of ice stream. The items hit the block, they go then there and they should travel up. But as you can see, it's not doing it anymore. And it's because that was a bug and Mojang decided to fix it now when everyone is using it. I don't really understand it, but unfortunately that happened. So I got to know this in Exuma Void's video in which he showed this design. I don't know if it was his idea, uh, let me just show this to you. It's actually <laughs> an item fountain, and I tried working with it, like using hoppers to collect the items, but it didn't work out. So, there's that. But this started to make me think. Like, do the I so the items shouldn't travel through blocks anymore. This is why this is broken. But if you directly push it through a dropper or a dispenser, it works. So I came up with a design of mine, and I don't know if it's original, or someone else made it, but I hope not. This is a simple design. There's a dropper, so this is 3x3, three three, like usually. There is a hollow block there, as you can see. Like there. Uh, above the piston. And on the top of it, so this is a full glass, and this block here is replaced with a hopper. And when I pull this lever, you can see the items shoot up and all land in this hopper. Now sometimes, and I see if I can manage to show it to you. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is cracking. So let's just use a diamonds here. And it didn't show, but sometimes it might be because of like the items just shoot upwards and fall straight back down on this hopper. Now this is not optimal because if so this is the final design but this is not optimal because if you have solid blocks here the item is just gonna travel through and they will never land in the hopper. So I made a design which theoretically fixes this issue and also it's fully automatic so you don't have to stand there with the lever. So let's say this is a hopper system or some kind of item transportation system which ends with hoppers and this is the automatic uh, dropper or dispenser firing circuit. And let's just show how this works. So let's just check in 16 diamonds for now. And you could see a visual bug with diamond shooting in the distance there. But in the end the items arrive here. And there should be 16 diamonds here. As you can see. So that truly was just a visual bug. So how this system works? Uh, this part you are familiar with already. This part just checks if the dispenser has items or the dropper. Sorry. If yes, it uh, makes the pulls longer with the repeater, and it has to be a one tick or it will just break it. Then this torch will be unpowered, the piston will retract, so the items can land on it. You need this. Uh, uh, what is this <laughs> repeater? Sorry. Because if the items come from a hopper, it's just gonna be with this system like one item and it's gonna fire out and one item again, like just let me show you. So you can see that and this should be the result of it. Or something like that, like this should just be blinking with a redstone here. And the piston is gonna be going crazy. Which wouldn't be good. Because then the items would shoot everywhere like with the item fountain or that's how I like to call it I can actually demonstrate this to you <coughs> sorry so I just remove this one and change the system a bit mm, I'm just gonna grab a torch so if I use this and let me just grab 16 diamonds here and put it in a Upper. <laughs> so this is the result 
And I don't think you want this because it's totally broken and useless. So once again you grab a repeater. I'm just gonna grab it from here. And this is working. Now sometimes I actually managed to face some bug and it might be server lag, it might be client lag, it might be anything like th the different orientation of this build. I'm not sure. But this sometimes makes the item like you can lose items. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this top part. So this is where the items land and it's a too high air bug there or gap there. And that's because the items are traveling really fast. As I mentioned, if there would be solid blocks there, they would just continue to uh, forward. If there would be only one air block there, it might... So it's sometimes you get all the items. Sometimes you lose half of the items. Sometimes you lose everything because it's kind of random and sometimes you just shoot forward. But if you have two blocks here, it's enough that, uh, for the items to slow down. So they won't pass through this block, but just hit it, fall back on the hopper, and they're just gonna travel to the chest, or whatever you have there. So, as I mentioned, sometimes you lose items. Sometimes one item lands out of here, and when I build this first, it might have been just this um, repeater have some delay. And I'm just gonna show it to you with 8 diamonds. As you can see, one landed there. And you mean you're gonna lose one item every time you use this system. Which is not optimal. So you can sh uh, solve this issue with reworking this system. And it's not difficult. And it might be safer generally to use this if you wanna use this system. It's nothing complicated actually. You can get into a few blocks and I just screwed myself over there. And yeah, I accidentally hit it, but it has to be in two ticks. At least, because otherwise it's gonna burn out the torch. So if you use this system, I'm then just gonna toss 42 there. And it dropped it out again. What happened here? Hmm. Let me just check in, sorry. So that's on two ticks. Maybe it should be on just three actually. So technically it shouldn't be the repeater. Yeah, it's working now. I don't know what caused the issue. It should be some kind of lag, maybe. But this made the dropper actually have some delay. So the piston has enough time to retract and the items won't uh, land outside accidentally. And this is actually a working system. So here I have about a 30 block high glass tower with the old system let me okay I'm not gonna touch it I'm just gonna chuck 32 diamonds inside see I'm always scared because I don't know yeah I'm pretty sure this was lag so let's say we chucked 41 there and we're just, we're just gonna rebuild the system and to make it faster oh wow I managed to not place some glass there. Yeah, and it actually resulted in me losing some diamonds. Alright, so I just forgot about this one test because the system wasn't working properly. Yeah, it fell out. So let me just rework this system like I did there. And let's see. So technically we lost one item there, the other four was the fault of my stupidity of not replacing those blocks. And I'm doing this wrongly. So 
sorry for my <laughs> incompetence here. So that repeater should be on two delay. That should be on three, I think. And let me just check another 42 diamonds there. Oh, I think it's lag actually. So as you could see there it didn't have this problem. Sometimes it had it might be some it might need some fine tuning here. Because it's only the piston retraction time that uh, makes the item go outside the tower so there should be 31 here yes so 31 items managed to so we can say 100% of the items managed to, to travel 30 blocks high and that one wasn't falling out it was just the piston retraction so you might have to play around with it because as a, once again here it worked sometimes it's just lag or something it's not a foolproof system for now because of that one issue and I have to be working uh, with that but as you can see we have another item elevator system here which is <laughs> working and it's almost lossless if you are scared to lose items just for now <laughs> chuck some dirt in and make sure the system picks it up fast first so <laughs> the worst case scenario you're just gonna lose one dirt in the best case you're just gonna have all the dirt yeah so i hope you like this design and i hope it's gonna work for you if mojang won't decide to fix the or return this back for us and i hope i have if you have anything else to ask or anything to ask feel free to do it in the comment section and happy item transportation bye bye